I love the Dura region because it's a well-hidden jewel and it's super relaxing. There is no noise, no construction. They are just peculiar houses. It's exotic and it's gorgeous. The vineyards and everything is so beautiful. It's wonderful. Mary Eve and her family are not tourists like others. For the past few months, they live in Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. Mary Eve runs the shop department of a large luxury hotel group. John is an automotive consultant. If they settled in this trendy touristic country, it's for its authentic landscapes and a quality of life that they cannot find elsewhere. Stand over there, Taya. All alone on the river in the middle of the vineyards, Taya, the youngest, seems to be reliving an epic scene from a popular Hollywood movie. <laughs> and the two kids haven't seen it all yet. Thanks to his job in the hotel industry, Mary Eve is entitled to free stays in her group's luxury hotels. So she booked this former 19th century mansion, transformed into a five-star. So where is the villa? Mary Eve and her family will have the privilege of sleeping in a prestigious villa. 100 square meters with exceptional comfort. Oh, wow. A living room of 50 square meters with a fully equipped kitchen. I think that's for you. Two large suites, including one for children. There is a TV in the bedroom. Oh no, that is not good. And the cherry on the cake, each room has its own bathroom. Look to the left. Oh my God, look at the bath. It's all mine. This villa is rented for 1,000 euros per night. Mary Eve and her family will be able to enjoy a wonderful private garden with its own pool. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. How is the pool? Amazing. It's heaven. Under a scorching sun, Ta, the youngest, cannot resist the attraction of the water despite their clothes. It's too, too good. Three years ago, this hotel was almost abandoned, but the group that Mary Eve works for had a feeling that Portugal had the wind in its sails and it was necessary to invest quickly. And they were not wrong. Today, this mansion is sold out all year round. The tourists are American, English, and French, a wealthy clientele who have taken residence in Portugal. A tiny revolution because five years ago, the country was experiencing a serious economic crisis. We came here seven years ago, and we were a little shocked. To say to yourself that of the European Union, it was still not well developed, but then a sudden incredible boom. Now it's manicured everywhere. In two years, this region has grown from 200,000 to over a million annual visitors. An 80% boom should not stop there, because Portugal has other untapped treasures. It's fresh, but it's perfect. 